the problem is, is that these forests historically burned frequently. And the reason they haven't been burning frequently for the last 100 years is because we've been putting out these fires. Generally, fire came through these forests every 15 years. And with that effect, you often had the fire killing the smaller trees, cleaning out the understory, and producing a much lower density forest that you could see uh, probably pretty large distances through. John Muir had a saying that you could ride a horse through almost anywhere in the, in the forest in the Sierra Nevadas. And it gives you kind of some kind of rough sense of generally how open they were compared to currently what we have. Now we've got dense forest structure and it's got a high risk of burning under wildfire because there's a way for fire to move from the forest floor into the canopy. Whereas if we go into a more open patch with larger trees, uh, the trees aren't facing the same amount of fire risk because there is no way for the fire to get up into the canopy. We're seeing more uh, wildfire and more severe wildfire over recent decades. And that shift is causing um, large areas of what was formerly a carbon sink to become a carbon source. Because those trees are dead, they then start to decompose and release carbon back to the atmosphere. And so that's a relatively slow process, but the biggest impact is the fact that we've killed them and they're no longer pulling carbon out of the atmosphere by growing.